And this one right here was the one that to this day still gets me. It was one that I remember what I was wearing when I was watching it. I remember the smells in the background. I just remember being in the moment. And it was when the West Coast Rap All-Stars came on and performed their song, We're All in the Same Gang. Every single major West Coast artist at that time, from NWA to Easy e to uh, Digital Underground to MC Hammer, you know, they were on this song, Above the Law, Tone Loke. I mean, everybody was on this song. And it was a classic, classic song. You know, just before that, the East Coast had released a song called self-destruction and it was all east coast artists talking about self-destruction man the streets are self-destruction drugs are self-destruction you know this this and that and i just remember when this west coast hip-hop all-stars tape came out it was everything man they had a video and everything but they came on arsenio hall to promote it and to perform it i wish i could play their performance but i can't because of copyright issues but uh, we're gonna play the interview that preceded the uh, performance i remember this like it was yesterday as well it was michael concepcion ice t and tone loke michael concepcion a big figure in la he was a big gang figure he he had a lot of juice you know back in the day and he was the one that put this whole thing together and here they are talking about it right here on arsenio hall in mayor tom bradley la police officers and gang members along with my next guest will all join together to start something called peace weekend and as bill said hopefully it'll be peace life uh the goal of peace weekend is to stop crime and violence among our nation's youth here to talk about it First of all, the gentleman whose brainchild it was, uh, Mike Concepcion and rap artist Tone Loke and Ice T. Give it up for them. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay. You ain't nervous, so I ain't gonna stop. You just relax. <laughs> Mike, where did this all come from? Well, you know, I'm, I'm one of the original, um, one of the original members of the largest gangs it is, and um, I just got tired of seeing all the killing and I said if somebody uh, going to try to stop a lot of the killers it should be somebody that one of the persons that created it so I just went out and talked to all my friends that sit on this now Michael Concepcion is in a wheelchair uh, due to his past as a gang member and this is his chance at righting his wrongs he created this movement the West Coast Rap All Stars take heed to it where they stop all the killing through gang violence, you actually ended up with this. Yeah. Um, Tone, you're from L.A. You know the whole gang thing. Can this weekend... Tone Loke, another the reputable help gang all? member before he got into music. Um, it's kind of like... It's like baking a cake. You, you know, you have... This is I've like always loved this dude's reason. voice. But it needs so many other ingredients. It's like eggs to a cake, but you can't make that cake. Perfect, perfect hip hop voice, right? He also did voiceovers for like Baby's Kids and. In a way, you know, this this one song. I mean, nobody's singing to the fact it's not going to stop it. But with a peace rally or with marches or you know, just everybody really finally want to see it come to an end, then it's possible because all you really got to do is get them while they're young. Yeah. Give him a little swift kick in the behind and a tall can of straighten up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Ice uh, T up next. One of the people who created this as well. This next question to Ice. Um, Bill and I were talking about the reasons why it all exists. Talk to us about that. Let's talk about the economics of it. Let's talk about the source. Oh. Well, like right now. Uh, the gang situation, as you know it, isn't like it used to be. There used to be people killing different neighborhoods, fights, and things like that. But now it's more an economic thing. It's money involved, it's lots of drugs, and it's, diff it's a whole different game. They could have stopped it back in the days when it was first starting, when I was uh, involved in it. Break it down, Ice. Basically behind colors, but nobody cared. And um, last year, uh, like I said last time when I was on your show last year, a woman got killed in Westwood, and all of a sudden there were 70,000 gang members in Los Angeles. And they didn't join that night. It was something that took 20 years to breed, but it came off out from the ghettos. Now the problem that's going on here is people don't care 
about anything unless it happens in their backyard. What's going on uh. in South Central Los Angeles and a lot of the other ghettos in the United States, it's going to come to the suburbs eventually, and we all have to care. We all being in the same gang means we are all in the same gang. We're all in the human race. And we all have to work together. White people have to care about black people. Black people have to look out for each other, just like we're doing this song. This radio stations have to play this record because we're all in this together. And you can't turn your head and say, it's not going to happen to me because the kids from my neighborhood are going to come move into your neighborhood with, into the $500,000 house. Hold up. $500,000 sounds so cheap right now. Next door to you with the money they made yesterday. Ooh. And they're going to be right there. So you can't hide from it. We all have to work together. And that's education. It's about people caring about each other. Yeah, yeah, I, want, yeah. I want you all to go out and stream this song. We're all in the same gang. Just go to whatever you listen to your music on. Spotify, Pandora, whatever you listen to it on. And please check it out. We're all in the same gang. It's a classic. Well, <clears throat> I know from my experience, I know that if I would have had a state in school and got an education and um, got my reading abilities and math together, I know that I probably would have never fell off into a trap as far as gangs. And, um, you know, I like to say to all the kids out there, they need to stay in school and try to study real hard. And all the parents need to really start paying attention to these school organizations and also to the kids and make sure that they have a lot of reading abilities because that's real important. Without knowing how to read and, and <clears throat> know how to do math, um, it's hard to get into um, sports, basketball, music, you know, or any type of entertainment. I'm just sitting back are, thinking, you don't see messages like this on TV right. anymore. So, there ain't no black empowerment. There ain't no black advancement talk anymore. Like, this sounds so foreign to me. This was normal to me back in the 90s, but I don't hear this anymore. Now it's your, your, your coochie hole's pink and your booty hole's brown and everybody's drilling and killing and the most dumbest shit gets on YouTube algorithm. Like... You don't see this anymore. And it's real important for kids to stay in school. Yeah, you, um, you brought some people here today for us to meet that uh, you're actually bringing together. Is that the story? Yes. Well, you know, I brought um, <clears throat> all the rappers that is going to anticipate on this song a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yeah, y'all got to check this one out. Um, it's a great... You know, Great one. I'm going to stop it right there because it keeps going. He brings out a bunch of gang members who he's trying to, you know, get to build peace. And he brings out all the rappers that are involved in this project. But check this out on YouTube, man. If you want to go down memory lane, check out Arsenio Hall West Coast Rap All-Stars. West Coast Rap All-Stars on Arsenio Hall. And also stream the song man it's a classic and it's the who's who of west coast artists on that joint so make sure you check it out and shit tell them dusty vision sent you in the con in the comments why not right yeah yeah yeah. i hope you enjoyed that and if i get a good response on this i'm going to do it again because arsenio hall had so many classic moments we, we just t touched on a few right here but arsenio hall show has had so many classic moments so you know depending on if you guys like this or not I i'll do it again in the future i'll pick you know five or six classic moments and we'll just play them and talk about them so comment down below did you like this if you did like i said i'll, I'll keep it going i'll definitely keep it going but uh please hit that like button once again if you haven't already and please hit that subscribe button if this is your first time joining the channel and you like what you hear please go to the rumble app r-u-m-b-l-e subscribe to dusty vision tv on rumble all you have to do is download the rumble app onto your phone that's r-u-m-b-l-e and subscribe to dusty vision tv please do so if you're on instagram i am dusty vision radio on instagram and if you are on facebook i am dusty vision tv I'm going to get the heck out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you are listening to the sound of my voice. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.